How's it going everybody? Welcome back to the Smoking Android. I am Jared and today we're going to be taking a look at the brand new uh, Samsung Galaxy S2 HD LTE from Bell Mobility. Bit of a mouthful I know but it's worth it in the end. So let's go ahead and start taking a look at some of the physical features. Now, you know, as you'll notice, um, this is still a Galaxy S2. Um, in fact, in my opinion, this is sort of um, all the best versions of the Samsung Galaxy S2s out there that have uh, come out previously, sort of all wrapped up into one. Um, so, this does come with Android 2.37 uh, and TouchWiz 4. Um, it is a brand new 4.65 inch display with 720 by 1280 pixels, which is basically a 720p uh, HD screen. It also has a Super AMOLED HD display, um, so you'll be able to uh, get a little look at that. Now, keep in mind, it is pen tile. It is not RGB. Um, however, I haven't been able to notice huge differences unless I put the phone pretty much up to my nose. And uh, obviously, I'm not going to be reading or using my phone like that. So, uh, it also comes with a 1.5 gigahertz Qualcomm dual core processor. It has 1 gigabyte of RAM and 16 gigabytes of internal storage. And obviously it has a expandable micro SD slot that goes up to, I believe, 32 gigs, I want to say, but for fear of being wrong, I'm going to say 32 or 64 gigs. <laughs> now on the front, we do have our, you know, light sensors, proximity sensors, as well as our auto fixed, um, or sorry, a fixed focus two megapixel front facing camera. On the right side of the device, we have our uh, power button slash screen lock. On the left side of the device, obviously we have our volume rockers standard. And moving around to the back of the device, we have our eight megapixel uh, camera with 720p capable video recording, I'm sorry, 1080p capable video recording, along with our flash. And you'll notice that this camera is a little bit different than some of the other different uh, uh, Galaxy S2 versions out there. Um, this has actually been taken from the Galaxy Note, if uh, that looks familiar to you at all. And obviously we have our Galaxy S2 branding with our Samsung logo. We have our speaker at the bottom with a very, very, very modest chin if you'll see there, sort of rear-facing chin. So I was, I was really happy to see that they kind of dialed that down a bit because I hate chins on devices, personally. Um, one thing also you that uh, you might want to take note at is the, um, the back door, sort of the battery cover here. Um, it's got this sort of, now it's still plastic, um, but it's textured. And I guess because of the, the method of texturizing that they use, I'm going to say texturizing for lack of better words, but I'm guessing the, the, the type of texture method, you know, thing that they used, um, kind of gives you a, almost like a rubbery feel, um, which actually feels really, really comfortable on the hand to hold. Um, and to be honest with you, uh, you know, the 4.65 inch screen, just the overall size of the device is actually really, really comfortable in the hand and um, just a pleasure to hold. So I'll go ahead and take off the backing here just to show you guys. Now obviously, um, <laughs> like every Samsung phone known to mankind, they have um, the flimsy we are backing, but you know what? Quite honestly, guys, these days, you know, this is kind of the norm, and you know, it's you know, I, I, what do you guys expect? Some sort of a, a metal trap door here, or like a like a safe locking door? I mean, quite honestly, I've gotten really used to flimsy um, battery door covers or. Uh, device backings just because it's not essential. I mean if you're gonna be putting on a case It doesn't really matter right so um, anyways, but that's the uh, backing obviously you'll notice you've got your um, now This is a micro SD card. All right, so not a standard normal SD uh, not SD. I'm sorry sim card um, So you will have to get something a little uh, smaller there just head on over to your carrier I'm sure they'll swap it up for you and obviously there's your micro SD slot right there and this actually comes with a massive 1850 milliamp battery, which was really, really awesome to see. In fact, I think that the only other battery I th I've seen um, sort of in, in like the 2011 sort of uh, year of models of devices um, is the Motorola Atrix, which is what I own, I think is the only other one that has a massive capacity battery like, uh, like this one here. So it was really, really nice to see that uh, Samsung included that. Now, because there isn't a huge change in this device compared to its predecessors other than the 4G LTE connectivity and obviously its larger HD Super AMOLED display, um, you know, there's just a couple of things. Um, some things that I do like to see in here is the NFC. Um, so that's near field communication. So basically that means that in the future, if you do have this phone, um, you know, when NFC starts coming to your cities, towns, stores, things like that, you'll actually be able to use this with Google Wallet and be able to make uh, uh, sort of those purchases by just sort of tapping your device to, um, to the little uh, checkout 
um, sort of robotic Google Wallet box thing that it is there. Uh, so that's really nice to see. Now I've been using this phone for about a week now, and um, I've got to say I'm I'm pretty impressed with it. It is a pleasure to use. Um, you know the the Super AMOLED HD display is definitely a pleasure to you know uh, browse with, play games, things like that. You can definitely tell a difference um, with its HD display. Something you might notice a little different from uh, other versions of this particular device, um, which can actually be compared to the Galaxy S2 Skyrocket HD, which is, I believe, AT&T's variant. Um, but this one actually doesn't come with any hardware keys, uh, as you can see here. There's no home button that, um, you know, is really, really popular over uh, international. Um, but instead, the North American version, at least the one that comes to Bell Mobility, has the um, four capacitive buttons down there at the bottom. Some people prefer it, and some people like the physical uh, home button. It's really a matter of preference. Right then, so what would a review of a, uh, a device with an HD display be without a test of a game? So I've loaded up Frontline Commando for us, so we'll go ahead and take a look at it. And I'll go ahead and start the mission here. And we'll just start the mission. All right. One thing I did notice with this device is that it does have sort of long loading times when I'm playing games. Um, I'm not really sure what that's caused by, but um, it's just something to keep in mind. Now, I played this on my Motorola Atrix. I've played this on other devices as well, and um, whoops. And I can tell you that um, um, the display here is just fantastic, um, at least on this game anyways. Um, you know, the graphics are really, really great. It's it's pretty quick once it's loaded up. Um, because of the massive display, you really feel immersed in the game. And, uh, you know, quite honestly, um, it's just it's just a pleasure to play games with. And this is a really, really good way to sort of get an idea of, you know, what the HD display can do for you. Now, one thing you do want to, uh, I, I did want to show you guys is the sound. So we'll bump this up all the way. And, um... You should be able to hear by now that it has incredible sound. Um, I've read past reviews that you know the uh, speaker was satisfactory at best. I'm going to have to fully disagree with them there. Uh, this speaker gets really, really loud. In fact, um, I compare a lot of uh, um, uh, speakers on devices with that of my Motorola Atrix just because I've always found that it has such a powerful speaker in it that um, it's kind of been a standard for me when uh, you know I'm playing music, games, or anything like that. Um, so definitely, as you can hear, the uh, the speaker is just super crazy loud. Um, so really, really good if you're watching movies with your friends or music videos or what have you. I'll go ahead and turn this down and we'll go ahead and back out of here. Alright, so we don't get 4G or LTE connectivity over where I live, um, which is actually why I've ordered or pre-ordered the Samsung Galaxy S3, Samsung Galaxy S3 uh, international version without the LTE, just because, you know, I, I, in my area, if there's no sense in me having a 4G LTE phone if uh, I don't receive those signals out here. Uh, but we do get really good HSPA+. Plus. So what we'll go ahead and do is uh, fire up a speed test for the HSPA+, Plus, and uh, we'll, see, we'll see what this radio is packing. Finds close server. I'll make sure that we get a server that's actually near me because for some reason, because of where I am, it likes to pick up a lot of um, a lot of servers that are really far away from me. Uh, so as you can see, these servers are all super far away from me. Maybe I'll uh, I'll reload the app. Hopefully, it'll find a closer server. Alrighty, so I switched it over to Bellingham, Washington. I just had to flick on my GPS there so it knew where I was because I'm on an island here. So often it'll uh, think that I'm based out of the states. Um, so we'll go, go ahead and uh, begin the test, and let's see what we come up with. 87 millisecond ping time. That's uh, pretty darn good. Uh, so far we are at 1 megabit per second down, and we kind of lower, got a little bit lower there. Okay, so our final result was uh, 0.79 megabits down and 0.16 megabits up. We'll go ahead and run it one more time, just because I saw it kind of jump up to 1 there, and then... Uh, uh, kind of drop after that so we'll see if uh, we can come up with anything better this second time around. Alright, so we finished our second test. We had an 839 millisecond ping with uh, 0.43 megabits per second down and oddly enough 1.5 megabits per second up. Now keeping in mind uh, this device is designed for 4G slash LTE connectivity so um, you know I've seen tests uh, out there on this device that uh, peaked up around 20 megabits per second down and about 13 up. So this device is capable of achieving extremely high um, data speeds. However, again, probably because of my location, uh, we're really not getting that great of a um, speed test. 
So, just something to keep in mind, um, but again, don't base your purchasing decision, you know, uh, as far as data connectivity speeds um, on this particular test because of where I am located. Now, there's not a whole lot more I can really show you about this device that hasn't already sort of been, you know, overdone. And I really don't want to beat a dead horse here because the Galaxy S2 has been out since 2011. There's been several variations of it, and each one of them has been reviewed a million times over. Um, so, all I can really give you is my personal opinion and experiences with this device. Um, this is a really, really, really good compromise. Um, in fact, and this is still a super phone. This isn't just a smartphone. This is still considered a super phone. So, this is still up there with a lot of the big boy devices out there, um, although it may not be packing a lot of the hardware features that um, um, some of them are still coming with, but it, it's very, very close. My personal opinion of the device is it's a fantastic phone. I've really enjoyed playing with it. I've really enjoyed using it. Call quality is great. The camera is great. Build quality is great. The display is just fantastic. Um, my only, only problem with this device is when I have the device in um, landscape mode and let's say for instance you know maybe I'm playing a game maybe I'm doing a lot of texting or something like that you'll notice here and I'll just put it in the light a little bit there the bezel with the capacitive buttons it is so close together now keep in mind you know again this is this is really a matter of preference okay because you know I do like that they did that because they're taking they're, they're giving you as much uh, display or screen real estate as they possibly could give you on this device without going overboard or making the device the size of a Galaxy Note but one thing I did notice is that when I'm playing, um, because there some uh, you know virtual on-screen buttons may be near the edge here, close to these capacitive buttons, I seem to be pressing the back button a lot, which either exits me out of the app or um, you know just does something uh, that I just don't want, an undesired action. So uh, that would be my only complaint about the phone. Oh, also if you'll notice, massive fingerprints, but that's kind of unavoidable these days. That's gonna be like that until the day we die, I'm sure of it. Um, call quality has been pretty, pretty good. Um, you know, I've heard better out there, but it's definitely satisfactory um, at the very least. Uh, the battery performance on this sucker has been absolutely phenomenal. Um, keep in mind, you know, because I've been playing this with this for a week, I've been trying to test as much stuff out as possible. So, you know, I'm doing speed tests, I'm doing benchmarks, I'm doing games, movies, web browsing, everything. And um, so I used the heck out of it. And I gotta tell you that with me using it from anywhere from uh, average to lightly heavily, lightly heavy use, is that even a word? Can, can I say that? We're gonna say it anyways, light heavy use. <laughs> Um, actually proved to give me about a day and a half to two days of battery. 1850 milliamps. Now my Motorola Atrix with light usage I can get to last about that time. Now this is powering a 4.65 inch Super AMOLED HD display which you know is is not in in like a complete battery sucker but it's definitely pulling a lot more battery than my Motorola Atrix with its four point uh, or with sorry with its four inch display and it's um, um, you know compared to this 720 display HD uh, HD display, it's QHD display, um, you know, you would expect this to kind of uh, uh, have the battery drain a little bit quicker, but I was really, really, really surprised. Um, it just worked really well, and this is a great all-around device. I highly recommend it to anybody in the market for a phone right now that doesn't want to wait for one of the um, big boy, you know, Uber super phones that are coming out, you know, uh, you know, if you don't want to get the, Gal uh, the HC One X, you don't want to get the Galaxy S3, this is definitely probably, in my opinion, my personal opinion, the best phone to get. Anyways, take it as you will guys, that is it. Again, I didn't really have a whole lot to show you that you guys haven't already seen and most of you guys that are watching this right now are probably packing a Samsung Galaxy S2 in your pocket right now as we speak. Uh, this has been the review for our Samsung Galaxy S2 HD LTE bleh, <laughs> from Bell Mobility. It is $550, no term pricing and 100 bucks on a three year contract and I'm sure if you look around you can probably find this uh, with your carrier as well somewhere in the States. They skyrocket HD for those of you Americans out there and uh, but that's basically it guys thank you very much for watching I'm um, sorry I couldn't show you everything but you know it's 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 a Galaxy S2 there's not a terribly <laughs> huge amount of stuff to show you guys um, so anyways again thank you very much for watching be sure to give this video a thumbs up if you find it at all useful or helpful um, it does help out the channel 
Be sure to follow us on Google+. Plus. I will be posting a link in the description below to follow me on Google+. Plus. You can communicate with me if you have any questions. And also, you can stay current and up to date with all the videos. I know I get, I get comments all the time from people being like, Oh man, I had no idea you released that video. Well, you should probably uh, follow me on Google+, Plus because I release every video I do. I post it on Google+, Plus just in case some of you guys have missed it uh, in the past. Uh, but anyways, again, thank you very much for watching once again for the 15th time. Uh, this has been Jared for The Smoking Android. Until next time, The Smoking Android, signing out. Cheers, guys.